Chris Pierce Freelon, I'm gonna tell you three stories about how Switchpoint changed my life. The first story is about this guy right here, Terrace Pipkins, AKA Jagero. <laughs> So um, I met Jaghetto at the farmer's market in Durham uh, many moons ago. Uh, we were showing our buddy. You remember Omar Effendum? Effendum. Yeah, Omar Effendum. Yeah, he's a, a Syrian hip-hop artist who uh, came to Durham to perform, and I was just showing him around town. And I saw Jaghetto at the farmer's market. He had a cello player in his lap, which I mistook for a human being. I, I was so wrapped up into the puppetry that I actually thought it was a, a person sitting in his lap. Um, and that night we had, uh, what, what, which is what will become the, you'll realize is a theme here for Switchpoint, an unexpected collaboration. Uh, Jaghetto joined us for an impromptu performance at a hip hop concert that night. And uh, not only was it unexpected, but it was magic. Thoughts on that evening? Super dope magic. Uh, I met him in a fandom. You know, I look up and there's this dude looking at me like this. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this is probably going to turn into something. He's like, yo, what is that? Who are you and what are you doing? We got a show tonight. You should come through. You know, so I was like, word, I'll be there. And I just packed up after the, uh, the market. I came over to Duke, set up, and we did some crazy last minute thing. And it was dope. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, well, after that show, we exchanged our contact information. You know how sometimes you give somebody your card and it's like, have your people call my people moment, you know? Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't like that. We were truly interested in what we could create together. And so he told me this crazy story about a robot boy that wanted to be human called Spinocchio. So with my background as a writer and composer, we collaborated. We brought in other partners. We applied for grants and started doing shows. We did a hip-hop show uh, at the local 506 in Chapel Hill. We performed at a Comic Con in Atlanta. And then interesting things started happening in our lives. So Jaghetto's career started taking off. It started blossoming. Uh, last year, he did a music video for Missy Elliott and Pharrell, a song called WTF. He did the puppets in that video. He did a commercial for Amazon, and he appeared on the Steve Harvey show. All right? Yeah. So I, I also got busy. I was doing a, a, a web series for PBS. I was teaching at UNC, running a digital makerspace for youth of color in Durham called Black Space. And then because I, I didn't have enough on my plate last year, I decided to run for mayor of Durham, North Carolina. Uh, <laughs> But throughout all that, we always kind of maintain a strong connection. We came together. So this year, we are excited to announce we have received a grant from the Jim Henson Foundation to develop the... That's our second grant, second year in a row. Right, from, from the Jim Henson Foundation. Thank you. We've published a comic book about Spinocchio, and we have shows coming up in Detroit, New Orleans, and save the date uh, for June 22nd, we'll be at the Carborough Arts Center. So you'll have a chance to check us out. So thank you again. Make some noise for Jaghetto. And I'm here today to implore you, look at who's sitting around in this room. Who could be your next collaborator, your next investor, your next partner, your next inspirer? You just have to be generous enough and open and willing enough to learn and share and listen. So I'm going to give you uh, two other stories about switch points in my life before I bring up our uh, keynote. Uh, story number two is about a guy named Casey, who I met here in 2012. He was with Good Magazine. Uh, I was here in 2012 with a buddy of mine named Apple Juice Kid, uh, working on a project called Beat Making Lab. Make some noise for Apple Juice. And uh, when, when, we, when we spoke to Heather about Switchpoint, we were kind of like, what does beat making have to do with global health? I don't really, I don't, we didn't really get it, but we trusted, we trusted her and we said, let's roll with it. And uh, Good Magazine was here, they heard about us, they heard about our story, and, it was, uh, and they wrote a story about Beat Making Lab. And so uh, that story on Good Magazine uh, came across the table of a producer at PBS Digital Studios and invited us to do a web series with PBS. So we came back at the next year's switch point in 2013 with what my grandmother would call a praise report. 
Uh, and we had been to Panama, Senegal, and Fiji at that point, and we were just about to launch a new collaboration with IntraHealth in Ethiopia, where we uh, went to different community centers and health centers, and we made music and shot a music video with the local residents uh, there. And then we went back to the family planning conference uh, with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, partnered with PRI's The World, Marco Werman, who you're gonna meet in a minute, uh, to have the original music from the, that we were creating in these countries presented on that um, amazing platform. And then the following year, in 2015, we won an Emmy Award for Beat Making Lab. Um, so, so you could kind of say like Switchpoint helped us win an Emmy, thank you. <laughs> okay, and uh, the, the last, the third switch point I wanna talk about is this guy right here in the very fashionable uh, Brazil uh, soccer jersey. Uh, this is Aaron Keen. Everybody say, what up, Aaron? Right. Okay, pop quiz. Can you guess where I met Aaron? Switch point. <laughs> okay. So uh, we, we started off, actually, when we met Aaron here, he was initially mixing music for Beat Making Lab, remember? We would send him the tracks that we created, and, and he would mix it. We'd put it out. And uh, years later, this uh, 2017, he was working with a client called Room 608, their uh, production studio in New York, on a project called The History of White People in America. <laughs> and he asked me to get involved, and I said, let's do it. You know, that sounds like something I, I could get into. So initially, Aaron and I were just doing music, but then I, I was invited later to become a writer on the show, and now we're both directors of this series called The History of White People in America, and something very unexpected happened earlier this year we got invited to premiere our film at the Tribeca Film Festival in New York. Um, it was selected as one uh, of over 5,000 short films to appear and uh, by none other than Whoopi Goldberg. She was the curator for our section. And uh, I, I wanted to show you, we actually can't show the whole thing uh, because uh, Tribeca has exclusive rights to premiere, but we will show you a little e premiere exclusive clip. Y'all ready? Okay, let's check it out. See if this clicker works better than my uh, earpiece. And it does. Hey, Blanco. Pale face. I gotta tell you a secret. Muzungu. This might come as a surprise, but uh... White people, listen to this. In America in the early 1600s, you didn't exist. We didn't exist? I hate to break it to you like this. Listen to what your history books missed. What would be made white were completely unrelated, under-melanated people. Frankenstein. Collaged by an optical illusion. The ultimate mirage called race. A social construction like Santa Claus. Back in the day, Y'all either English or Scott, Irish, Catholic, or Protestant, land-owning or not. But you can't have white without black in America. So, so that's a clip from History of White People in America. It's kind of like a, a, a schoolhouse rock style animated uh, history lesson about the construction of race. And we met here at Switchpoint. So you're going to meet different people with different styles and different skills. And they may be the best allies in helping us push for bigger and more powerful and more impactful and relevant work. So, do y'all want to know who my next collaborator is going to be? Let's see. It's you. It could be someone in this room. I have no idea who in this space is going gonna, is gonna to change my next life trajectory. So everyone right now, take a minute to look around the room. Give each other like a sup. Sa What's up? All right. All right, this is Switchpoint. Make some noise for Switchpoint. Welcome to Switchpoint. All right. Switchpoint is about connections. The connections you make, the connections you foster, brain connections, people connections. Unexpected partnerships are all around us, all the time, just waiting to be made. The person to your left or your right in this room might be the next collaborator of your life. Or maybe someone sitting far behind you. Maybe it's someone you meet. Maybe it's someone that says a new idea that sparks something inside you. Something that opens up a whole new world of thinking, a connection in your brain that could not have been made on your own. Who are those encouragers, those inspires, the helpers? Who are the solutionaries among us? What are you willing to risk and what do you have to offer? 
Yesterday, we held an innovators forum for speakers and presenters to get to know each other, to share ideas and tools, challenges and solutions off stage. We do this every year to spark new connections and build partnerships. And each year we focused on a question. Yesterday's question was, who made you feel that you could achieve the impossible? If you have not met the person who makes you feel that way, we hope you will meet them here. That you will do things that make a real substantial difference in the world. Bring your ideas, your openness, your talents, and everything that drives your passion and focus. Prepare for a lot of art and weirdness. There's a lot of information about to come your way and you will need to stretch yourself. In addition to the entrepreneurs and inventors and experts, there are a lot of artists in here, if you couldn't already tell. Art reveals the best and worst of humanity. It helps us understand each other and reach each other. And as humanitarians, we should remember that behind all our data and frameworks and acronyms, we are simply human beings reaching out to each other human beings. Take a moment to meet the person beside you and be open to the possibility that each of you has something unexpected to offer the other. In the next two days, you will experience over 70 speakers, presenters, and performers, 21 micro labs to choose from, multiple performances, field trips, and time to talk, time to meet, time to connect. Welcome to Switchpoint. Sweet, 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 sweet,